the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you. He that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwelleth in you. You've got to have something for God to quicken. Hallelujah. Yes, he could raise the dead. Hallelujah. But that dead soul, uh, that dead life, uh, that dead spirit uh, of this natural man that you are, in order for you to come alive, uh, you've got to have uh, a quickening of the Holy Ghost. Uh, that's why the Bible said the word of God is sharp. Uh, a word of God is quick. Uh, a word of God is powerful. Uh, your own spirit can quicken you. Your own spirit uh, is not powerful uh, enough to quicken you and to make you alive. Uh, if that was the case, there was no need for Jesus. There was no need, praise God, for salvation. There was no need for the Holy Ghost. Uh, that's why God sent Jesus. Uh, and he might quicken your mortal, your mortal body. Not your heavenly body. Not your spiritual body. But your mortal body. He said, I'll quicken uh, your physical body. This flesh. He said, if you have not the spirit of Christ. None of his. How do you receive the spirit of Christ? You've got to be baptized into Christ. You've got to receive Christ. You've got to receive the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Some people have the spirit of another preacher. Some people have the spirit of a prophetess. Some people have the spirit, hallelujah, of their mother or their father or their bishop or their overshare. I want to tell you, praise God, when you receive the spirit of another man. Yes, my Lord. Everything that's in that man transfers to you. If that man is a, a drug addict, that spirit is in you. If that man is unfaithful to his wife, that spirit is in you. That's why you don't want to take somebody else's spirit. You don't want to walk in somebody's spirit. You don't want somebody to put their anointing on your nose. The Bible said God anoint Jesus with the Holy Ghost. You want God to anoint you. Yes, we are vessels that God will use, but don't let anybody give you that impactation. I'm going to impact my spirit on you. No, praise God, the only impactation that you need is the spirit of God himself. I said the only impactation that you need is God himself. And when God imparts his spirit to you and God put his gift in you, when you come to church, God will bear witness through a man, a woman of God. You don't have to go there and go over there to and fro, but my God, the spirit. Oh, it's right in the word. Spirit in you. Hallelujah. Verse number 12. Therefore, brethren, we are dead as not to the flesh. To live after the flesh. Yes, For if you live after the flesh, you shall die. Yes, but if you through the Spirit to modify the deeds of the body, yes, sir. you shall live. Yes, sir. For as many that are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Yes, you have not received the Spirit of bondage again to fear. No, so that means if you didn't receive it again, you had it on time. All right. That means you had that spirit of bondage one time. That's right. But he said, now you've not received that spirit of bondage again to fear, which means the spirit that God has given you now. Yes. Listen to what he said. But you have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. The spirit itself beareth witness uh, with our spirit that we are the children uh, of God. Hallelujah. The same spirit uh, that God has put inside of you by the Holy Ghost. Uh, it bears witness of the spirit that God first breathed inside of you and made you a living soul a uh, best witness of your spirit uh, and it's God talking to you it's God that made you though your mother made you though your father made you he was in that womb for nine months uh, but it's God's spirit uh, hallelujah he said now nah, you are adopted uh, Holocaust, Rosa, the Holy Ghost uh, the spirit of God uh, adopts you in the family of God uh, he gives you his spirit uh, he gives you his life uh, he gives you his nature he gives you his Tributes, uh, he gave you his power, he gave you everything it is. Uh, hallelujah! Uh, he's inside of you. Yeah. Oh, I feel like preaching tonight. Hallelujah. hallelujah! The spirit itself bear witness with our spirit. That's what he said. So there's two spirits. Uh, 
Yeah. The Spirit of God bear witness with Yoswin. Why? Because your spirit is the candle. Yes, sir. Searching. God is using that life he gave you to search him. For him in your belly. Yes, sir. Not in your brain. Come on, man. In your belly, your guts. Yes. Hallelujah. Where your life where the rivers of living waters flow. So when that candle, a candle does not have enough light to light a, a house for a long time. Praise God, that candle burn after a while. But when that candle, praise God, gets that eternal life, that eternal light. That's why Jesus said, I'm the life of light. Hallelujah. That's a light you can't put out. You can't put out the spirit of the life of God. That's why some of us are not afraid to die. That's why some of us are not afraid to lose what we have. Why? Because uh, our spirit uh, has been contact uh, with the eternal spirit uh, of God himself. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Getting close to telling you this vision in a little bit. Galatians chapter 5. Verse number 16. This I say then, walk in the spirit. You shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusteth against the spirit. Yes, sir. And the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary, the one to the other. So that you cannot do the things that ye would. Yeah. If your spirit was God and you know all that kind of stuff, you're holy, you like Oprah say, you're perfect, you're sweet, you're wonderful. There would be no war in you. Right. Come on, man. There'd be no conflict. In your spirit. Is this right? Is this wrong? God, is that you? Satan, is that you? There would be none of that. You just have a straight, one way straight to be able to just walk in that same spirit. But no, the Bible said it's contrary the one to the other. He said the flesh lusteth against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to the other, so that you kind of do the things that you would. But if you be led by the Spirit, you're not under the law. Yes. Hallelujah. He said, now the works of the flesh. Now that's the spirit of the natural man. Yes. Not the Holy Ghost, not God in you. The spirit, the works of the flesh are manifested, which are these. Adultery, yes. fornication. Uncleanness, lasciviousness, yeah. idolatry, yes, witchcraft, Welcome. hatred, yes. variance, yes. emulations, yes. wrath, yes. strife, yes. seditions, yes. heresies, yes. envies, yes. murders, yes. drunkenness, yes. revilings, and such like of the which I tell you before, as I have told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. I just want to make a point right here about emulations. Hallelujah. People that emulate people. People that impersonate other people. You cannot be saved as an impersonator. You cannot be saved as an actor, as an actress. I don't care if you be Brad Pitt, if you be, you know, uh, Tom Cruise. I don't care if you give tithes and offerings of all your money. If you are an impersonator, and now we've got impersonators in the church. We've got Murder, we've got Titty Chicks, we've got all these different actors and actresses. You can't act like somebody else and have the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost don't make you act like nobody else but God Himself. The Holy Ghost don't make you act like a homosexual because you're in a play or because you're in a show. The Holy Ghost don't make you act like a drunkard. No, you don't have to act drunk to save a drunkard. No, the Holy Ghost. He's going to convict that drunkard. The Holy Ghost, he's going to be the one to bring that drunkard to his right mind. The Holy Ghost, she don't have to be a prostitute. Who save prostitutes? No, you've got to receive the Holy Ghost and let the Spirit of God. Yeah. So all these movie stars are lost. It's another spirit. We all like movies. We like to watch good movies. But that spirit in these actors acting like somebody else. Some of them can't even come back to their right mind after they act. Especially those that go on these demonic spirits and doing these witchcraft movies and Harry Potter and all these other things. There was a man who, who died that last movie. I think it was Batman. They said he went so deep that spirit possessed him. 
So don't tell me, hallelujah. Don't try to act like you've got the Holy Ghost. Don't try to act like you're a preacher. Don't try to act like you're a prophetess. Don't try to act like you got the vision. Closing your eyes uh, and you could see everything. No, that impersonation demon is going to take you to hell. Are you listening to me? Yes, Verse 22, but the fruit of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, meekness, 